spleen. It is a large intra-abdominal hemolymphatic organ present along the course of systemic circulation. Structure. It consists of stroma and parenchyma, like any other gland. Stroma is composed of capsule, trapeculi, and reticular stroma. Capsule. It is thick and made of dense connective tissue rich in elastic and smooth muscle fibers. It is covered by peritoneum. Trapeculi. They extend from the deep surface of the capsule, dividing the spleen into irregular compartments. They are also rich in elastic fibers and smooth muscle fibers like the capsule. A reticular stroma. It is formed of argyrophilic reticular fibers and reticular cells, forming the background of the spleen. Parenchyma of the spleen is composed of white and red pulps. White pulp consists of diffuse and nodular lymphatic tissue formed of scattered rounded or oval lymphatic nodules called the Malpighian corpuscles. The germinal centers of the nodules are not clear, while each of them shows an eccentric artery known as the central arterioles. Lymphocytes in the white pulp are arranged in four zones. From inside outwards they are pre-arterial lymphatic sheaths or thymus dependent zone formed mainly of T lymphocytes. Germinal center formed of P lymphoplasts, P lymphocytes, and large activated lymphocytes. Follicular zone, formed mainly of P lymphocytes. Marginal zone, formed of T and P lymphocytes, plasma cells, and macrophages. Red bulb is a diffuse lymphatic tissue associated with the venous system of the spleen. It is formed of splenic cores and blood sinusoids. Splenic cores are branching cores of lymphocytes, RBCs, monocytes, granulocytes, plasma cells, and macrophages. In the embryo and animals, immature blood cells are also present erythroplasts and megakaryocytes. T lymphocytes leave the circulation at the marginal zone, which is a transition zone between the red and the white pulps. T lymphocytes then move to the thymus dependent zone, which is in the spleen present in the pre arteriolar lymphatic sheaths. Blood sinusoids are irregular, wide blood channels lined with specialized spindle-shaped endothelial cells. Most other endothelial cells are simple squamous cells. Endothelial cells are surrounded by non-continuous pismic membrane. This facilitates the passage of blood from the tissue of the red bulb to the blood stream. Lymphatic circulation. The spleen has no afferent lymphatics, but efferents arise deep in the white bulb. The red bulb has no lymphatics, then converge on the central arteries. 
lymphatics intertrapicoli and join to form large vessels that live at the hilum. Blood supply of the spleen. The splenic artery enters the hilum of the spleen and divides into trapicular arteries, which run in the trapiculi. The central arteries arise from the trapicular arteries to enter the Malpighian corpuscles. In the red bulb, they give rise to penicillar arteries, each of which divides into two to three precapillary arterioles. Some are sheathed capillaries surrounded by oval structures, ellipsoid. These ellipsoids are made of reticular fibers, cells, and macrophages, and are referred to as shigwar sedil sheaths, and may act as sphincters. The venous sinusoids collect the venous blood to the veins of the pulp. These unite to form trapicular veins which collect into the splenic vein that leaves at the hilum. Theories of splenic circulation Connection between arteries and veins Open circulation theory The capillaries open directly into the tissue of the red bulb. Closed circulation theory. The capillaries open directly into the blood sinusoids. This provides a system for blood to pass rapidly through the spleen without filtration. Open and closed circulation theory. During splenic contraction, the circulation is closed one while during the laxation it is an opened one. Kinsley theory suggested the presence of direct shunts between the splenic arteries and veins. Functions of the spleen. Filtration of blood from foreign bodies and microorganisms. Blood formation. Formation of blood elements in the embryo and formation of lymphocytes in others. Storage of blood. Spleen acts as a blood reservoir. Destruction of snail RPCs and storage of iron for formation of the pigments and RPCs in the red bone marrow. Humoral immunity, antibodies formation by P lymphocytes and cell mediated immunity by T lymphocytes. Comparison between lymph nodes and spleen. For easy differentiation between both, we have to consider site, structure, and function of each structure of stroma and parenchyma. Lymph nodes, they are small bodies present along the course of lymph vessels. They are covered by fascia. Spleen, it is a large hemolymphatic intra-abdominal organ present along the course of blood vessels. It is covered by peritoneum. Structure. Stroma of lymph nodes is formed of thin capsule, poor in smooth muscles and elastic fibers. There are thin trapiculi. Stroma of the spleen is formed of thick connective tissue capsule, rich in smooth muscle fibers and elastic fibers. There are thick trapiculi. Parenchyma. Parenchyma of lymph node is formed of cortex and medulla. Cortex contains regularly arranged 
lymph follicles and lymph sinuses. Lymph follicles have clear germinal centers but no central arteries. Medulla is made of medullary lymphatic cores and lymph sinuses. Medullary cores are formed mainly of lymphocytes and plasma cells. Lymph nodes contain lymphatic sinuses and have afferent and efferent lymphatic vessels. Parenchyma of the spleen is formed of white and red pulps. White pulp consists of scattered Malpighian corpuscles. Malpighian corpuscles are lymphatic nodules having central arterioles and non-clear germinal centers. Red bulb, on the other hand, consists of splenic lymphatic cores and blood sinusoids. Red bulb contains RBCs, leukocytes, and plasma cells. Spleen contains blood sinusoids and has no lymph sinuses or afferent lymphatic vessels, but contains only efferent lymphatic vessels. Functions. Lymph nodes are concerned with filtration of lymph from microorganisms and foreign bodies, formation of lymphocytes, immunological and other P and T functions, mainly humoral immunity by P lymphocytes and cellular immunity by T lymphocytes, functions of the spleen. Filtration of blood from foreign bodies and microorganisms. Blood formation. Formation of blood elements in the embryo and formation of lymphocytes in others. Storage of blood. Spleen acts as a blood reservoir. Destruction of senile arbuses and storage of iron for formation of bile pigments and albices in the red bone marrow. Humoral immunity, which is formation of antibodies by P lymphocytes and cell-mediated immunity by T lymphocytes.